Hi, um, received a few comments, uh, well I have received a few comments, and Quentin at Multiweekopter has received a few comments, um, almost complaining, but not quite, that uh, my build video of the Recon 3 uh, used a full Paris board as the controller, but at the moment the Recon 3 is shipping with the Air IMU as an option, or as the preferred controller. Um, so um, I'm just going to do a quick a video now on some options for mounting the air and wiring the air. Really it actually wires no different to the Paris. You have four motors that plug in to M1 through 4 on the back. Uh, you have a lead to go to your andrometer as the trigger wire and you've got a GPS input and down the bottom you've got the radio input. So a lot of the connections are the same. The order for the motors is a little different, but there is a chart on the product page for the air which will give you the correct motor out. You should look at that chart. Not if I could show you on the video, but you should look at the chart. Now, how would you mount the air? I've seen a few different things and a few different options. One thing you could do, and ultimately it's probably the one I would prefer, but it becomes awkward, is to actually sit it down inside and use um, a little bit of your, your um, just put the, the mounting tape at front and back and actually just sit it down in the bottom plate. It'll have the Velcro running under it, so you need to make sure that's got clearance. The problem is you're not going to be able to get the USB in there very easily whenever you've got to make any changes and the gimbal and stuff's going to be in your way on the front. So, option number two is buy yourself one of these plates. They are available as a separate item. The top, the center top plate, same thing that gets used on the top here. And mount it across the hole. So undo for, um, undo the four standoffs. Okay, under your four standoffs, plate sits over the top of that. Standoffs go back on. That one will go there. Change that stud length. Anyway, you get the idea, the four standoffs go back on, and then you can mount your air straight on top of that plate. Okay, and then your um, existing plate goes back over the top of everything else, and everything's nice and uh, neat and tidy and very secure. As an option, coming soon. Don't ask me how soon, but there is a new product coming. It's actually designed for a different airframe, but can be adapted to use with um, the Recon and the Air. Just put my spaces back in place. And that is this. It's called a four ball. We all know the eight ball. We've all grown to love the eight ball jello killer. Well, this is a four ball IMU mount. And depending on how you set it up and how you configure it, it gives you the same vibration um, isolation for your IMU that you would get for your camera. So in theory, your controller should fly a lot better. Now that just goes onto the balls, same way your eight ball mounts up. All right. And you simply have then spaces off your top plate coming down to suspend that plate. So you end up with a 
just quickly going to show this without the andromeda you can work out for yourself how to mount the andromeda up the top as well but basically I've got four spaces these are the longer ones and you might need to use different ones if you also still want to they're the uh, 30 mil spaces you might want to use different ones if you're going to also mount the Andromeda under the top plate. You might want to change that to a 6 and a 25. Not sure whether it'll clear, but then your plate hangs on the bottom of that. Okay, with a couple of nuts, hold it all in place. Just remember this is an optional extra, soon to be coming as a separate part, the four ball IMU mount. And that will sit there and it'll keep your, right, your air beautifully protected and nicely isolated from any vibrations in the airframe. So that's three different options you've got for mounting your air. Uh, as I said, I'm not going to go through the, the wiring up of it because it's basically exactly the same. Just the pins are different. The order that the, the four servo leads plug in is different. Check the diagram on the website. Right? Um, always check the diagram on the website. Um, GPS just plugs in the side. Receiver plugs in the back. Lead plugs in the back. And you've got, with that all mounted up, you've got clear access to the USB in the front and uh, that should be a, a really nice product. Um, I'll get around to giving this a fly this weekend. I've got a few other things I want to modify on my Recon 3. It was an early prototype and I just want to get it up to date to the newest spec. So um, anyway, one other option I didn't mention is you could leave the plate in, in the top as I did for my air mount, and you can actually bottom mount this. This could, the, the four ball could actually simply screw down to the second top plate. Okay, so screw through, screw through, screw through. All right, I'll just put two, sit two screws in there just to show you. That could actually screw down to that plate, and then you'd be free to have your um, Andromeda and top plate still mount off the top of the standoffs and to lift this away you're not going to have to, going to, have to worry about disconnecting the air at all. So that's a fourth option for mounting the air on the new Recon. So you could put it inside, add the plate or add the, um, the four ball IMU isolator and you could either mount the, the four ball to the top of that plate or you could suspend it off the top plate below the andromeda. So there you go. See ya.